seems like the next one's a short chapter so hi guys this is Connie we are doing Connie reads the dogs of winter this is chapter 32 titled garbage mountain for days the dogs and I ran we ran away from the city and the people and the machines and the body of grandmother we ran past squat apartment buildings one after another all looking the same we ran past falling down warehouses, skirting broken glass and bottles, and skinny, wary dogs, and men with hard black eyes. We stopped long enough to dig food out of the garbage cans. There was no use begging here. No one had anything to spare. One day, from the far side of a weedy, grass-sparkled lot, the cries of screeching birds drew us. The wind carried a smell both rotten and sweet. We followed our noses to the source of the smell. There rising before us like a living, breathing, stinking hulk, towered a mountain of garbage. Humans of all sizes crawled over the mountain, pulling out scraps of this and bundles of that, ragged clothes, broken pots and pans, twisted heaps of metal. A small girl in rags and no shields squealed with delight as she pulled a naked, armless doll from the mound. A woman with her head wrapped in rags dragged pieces of wood over to a tumble-down hut on the edge of the woods on the far side of the garbage mountain of garbage mountain a pack of children played king of the mountain on top of a pile of tires two men argued over a rusty wagon it's mine said a man with a striped hat no i saw it first said a man with one arm the man with the hat hit the one-armed man over the head with a bottle we made our way around garbage mountain just inside the edge of trees even the puppies kept silent as we passed. Here and there, people huddled around small, smoky fires. I did not understand this. It was warm and the sun was high. Still, they stood and sat by the fires, passing bottles and laughing. Skinny, skulking dogs hovered at the edges. Their tails said they were scared and hungry. The wind shifted, blowing the smoke through the trees to where we watched. Rip sneezed. To talk. The talk stopped at the nearest fire. Heads turned in our direction. The dogs of Garbage Mountain growled. Who's that? Someone demanded. Slowly, I left the cover of the trees and stepped into the light. The dogs, my dogs, pressed close to my legs. I rested a hand on Smoke's back. A low growl rumbled up through his chest and to my hand. What's your name, boy? Who do you belong to? I belong to them, I said. Who? I rested my other hand on Lucky's head. The dogs, I said. Ha, said a woman with no teeth. Who heard of a child belonging to a pack of dogs? You come over here with us, a man in a long coat said, waving me over to the fire with a bottle. We'll look after you. And bring those dogs with you, another man said, licking his lips like a wolf. The low, skulking dogs stayed by the fire dogs, inched forward and growled. My heart thundered in my chest and told my legs to run, but my legs would not run. The toothless woman grinned and cackled. Come over here, little boy. Come to Granny. My brain told me to run, but I was frozen like a statue. Perhaps the toothless woman was a witch and had cast a spell on me. I closed my eyes and rubbed the baby tooth in my pocket. Just then, a high tweet, tweet pierced the air. Cries of... Milizia! Yeah. Yeah, Milizia, run! Crisscrossed Garbage Mountain. Birds and dogs and people scattered. The spell broke. My legs came to life. The dogs and I ran as far and as fast as we could away from Garbage Mountain. We ran as if on fire, faster than we had ever run before. We left Garbage Mountain behind. We left the tribe of Garbage Mountain behind. We ran until our feet no longer skimmed and skittered over asphalt and broken glass. We ran until our feet fell upon green grass and a gentle trail led us into the woods. And that's the end of chapter 32. Be careful with that and enjoy, please and thank you, and I will see you for the next chapter. Have a great one.